Alright guys, flopping here. Um, as you saw in the end of the last episode, I finished selling Brune Arrows and now up to 999k. Um, and yeah, I'm going to jump straight to it. For the first flip, I've decided to revisit one of my old favourites, um, Obsidian Cape. The profit margin is only about 2k per cape, but there's a 100 limit per every 4 hours, so providing these go well, could easily make some, some good cash. Another thing I want to show you guys whilst we're doing the low level flipping to potentially high level flipping. Um, what, what, if you want something to do whilst you're waiting, then it's worth considering buying things to out because, well, there's a few items which are good and Air Battle Staffs is one of them. You get them from under 9k each and you can get the Nature Rooms for 100 each these days and um, they out for 9,300. Um, if I had the actual spell turned on, it would help to find it. Yeah, you get 9,300 coins per out, so it's something to do, something to consider doing once I have a spare cash to do. And so you can see the buying and selling price. I've um, bought four more for 62555, and they're sent for 65200. So yeah, it's over 2k profit per, and um, pretty quick to, pretty quick flip. If you do decide to out some air battle staffs for profit whilst you're waiting, do consider that there's only a hundred battle staffs per four hours, so you'll have to find a few items which out for profit. There is quite a few out there. Um, it's worth looking on some websites like Wikia. Well, for, there's well, there's plenty of guides out there of items which out for profit. Um, air battle staffs is one of them, which buying instantly. I've tried the other element, elemental staffs, but some of them you might have to wait to get them for a price, which you can help them. Uh, um, obsidian capes seem to be keep getting undercut quite much, quite a bit today, so I might change items soon. Um, as you can see, I've bought some more air battle staffs in nature rooms to quickly go through. Um, that's about two, three k there from just alking those few staffs profit whilst I wait for these to buy and sell. So I'm going to update these prices and I'll let you know um, when things happen. As I'm going for um, quite quick flips now, because this is, well, because there's a 100 limit, I seem to be getting undercut quite a bit. So I'm just going for the 2k GP profit margin. It's not a great deal, but they do seem to be buying and selling pretty fast. Um, as you can see, I've bought some more nature rooms and more air battle stabs, and I'm going to just keep alking these stabs as I wait. As you can see, I've managed to buy them all in and none have sold for a while. So basically, I've been undercut a bit. Um, I'm gonna sell these for six, four, eight hundred, and hope that they all clear. Since it's not a massive profit margin now, it shouldn't be anyone going too much cheaper. I decided to drop the margin down to one k profit. Um, then they're starting to sell, which is, which is nice. I know it's rubbish profit, really, but I'll take it. I'm not too fussy right now. Not with a, with a minimal cash stack. Any profit's good profit. So I'll put an offer to buy some more in and. I'll unpause it when things update. Another item worth mentioning is that steel full helms, if you pay 192 per, that they do out for profit. It is really minimal profit, but it's still an item to out so if you want free XP or just something to do whilst you're waiting. That's another item to consider. Another item worth um, considering for Alkin is mithril plate bodies. At mid price, with the price of Nature Rings being 137, they out for profit. As you can see, I've got them for 280, what, 2000. 2,832 each, 23 each even, um, so it's even more profit for Alk and them, so yeah, there's a few items which you can definitely out for profit just to pass the time, so I'll get Alk and these whilst I wait for my capes to, f uh, as you can see I've got 9 more of them bought in, um, I've, I'm keeping, well, obviously put some of the 9 in here, but I'm keeping um, track of how many I've done, I think I've done 34, 30 something, I say that, um, it's in a notepad which I can't be bothered to open whilst I'm recording, but um, yeah, make sure you always keep track and don't be afraid to change the prices which you're buying and selling for. And yeah, another item which helps for profits is adamant square shields. Um, the hundred limit, but I can only afford ninety at the time, so I'm gonna help these. Actually, I can afford more now. These are sold. Um, actually, I'm gonna look for a new item because the profit on the 
um, what's it called? Profit on the Obsidian Cakes has gone rubbish. So um, yeah, I'll unpause it once I've bought something in. As you can see, I went for um, Dragon Dagger Plus Plus again. Um, it's about it's only about a K profit per, but it's a quick flip. Um, nice and easy. So I'll, I'll show you once they've sold. They all sold in less than a minute, probably about 30 seconds. So um, I'll uh, I'll show you once I've got the next. Time. I decided to go with another quick flip. Um, as you've seen before, Iron Ore, and I'll. I know it's only going to sell for, well, when I price checked it, 190, 5k profit, but I just thought I'd um, show you a quick easy flip. And as you can see, all the iron ore sold. Um, I'll, I'll try and find a different item because that was a bit of a pointless flip. And I'll unpause it once I've got something. Right, guys, I um, thought I'd alcohol I had just to get a price check on how much I've on now. 1,118k. So I'll go back to flipping. Alright, I'm trying um, Mithra Ore now. Um, 411 GP per is what I paid. And when I price checked it, it was potential to sell it, well, not that much, at 418. But I'm going to go for 417 just to try and get a quick sale. And I'll update you when it's um, sold. Uh, Mithra Ore started to sell for 415 per, so sold pretty much all of them. Um, I'm just going to buy some more at 4.11 each, I'll oh, finish selling them now. Um, yeah, it's 4 GP profit per, it's not brilliant, there's only going to be about another 10k profit from them, but it's just something to pass the time a little bit whilst I think of a better item. Um, as I found a better item, I've decided to sell the Mit 4, which I had for just 1 GP more than what I was paying. Um, you can see I'm buying uh, Rune Arrows for 161. And they're selling for 169 per, which is an 8 GP profit. There's a 10k limit, so hopefully, let's see. All the rune arrows I had are sold now, so I'm gonna buy another 5k of them. And um, well, yeah, hope that there you go. Majority of them bought in. They will be slightly under 5k because I did do the price check in, but I'll put these ones which I have for 169 per, and um, we'll be able to. Oh, I'll price check the money after um. They've all bought and sold. As you can see, the rune arrows all finished selling now, and we're at uh, 1.2 million. We've also the nature rune, so it's about 1.21 mil, which is pretty good going. And I'll find another item and then I'll pause it then. The next flip I'm going to try is abyssal whips. Um, there's a 10 limit on abyssal whips every four hours, and I, when I price checked it, it was about 8k profit margin. So I'll keep you updated as they go. And as you can see, the first one I got, it instantly sold when I put it up for sale, so I'll put an offer in for another one. Second whip's bought in, so I'll put that for sale now. Oh, well, and the third whip's bought in. Um, this isn't really a flip, I just get satisfaction out of alking expensive items. Um, Dragon Mace is, they can, you can alk them, and you make like 40 GP profit per. So yeah, it's just like, consider if you like wait, uh, taking expensive items out of the game so I'm getting 30k per and they cost 29,700 29k 700 something like that but yeah as you can see I sold the last two whips for 100, uh, 502k each um, then I managed to buy two more back for 498k basically the prices just fluctuate quite a bit but as long as you're prepared to update your prices you won't get caught out too badly Sold another two whips for 502k each, and then try and go a little bit cheaper buying them than what I paid last time. And I'm gonna go for not that low, uh, 494k per. And I'll update if necessary to try and get them in. Managed to pick two more whips up at 494k, um, and I'll put them back on for 502k. Pretty quick flipping again. Wasn't waiting around too long. So I'll um, pause it once they sell. As you can see, they sold. I went a little bit cheaper to sell them, but then I paid less for them, and I got some more items which out for profit. Barely any profit, but it's just really to pass the time. Um, Mithril two handed swords and Mithril maces. They bought pretty quickly, both of them. Um, I think there's one more whip I can do in this four hour window, so I'll get flipping it. And as you can see, I bought them for four hundred ninety k. That was actually really instant after I put the offer in on the exchange. Um, I'll just set it for slightly under mid, just to get the quick sale. 
Alright guys, well um, I've out all the Mithril stuff I had. Um, there's one other trick I'm going to show you guys is Alkin Dragon Daggers. Um, I found it out earlier. You can They out for 18k each and you can buy them um, plus plus for 16,300 roughly. You know, 5% below mid price or you can get them pretty much instantly at mid price. So um, yeah, if you clean Dragon Daggers they're out for 18k each. Um, which is a pretty good profit. I'm getting about 1.8k profit per. I managed to convince someone to buy me in some Dragon Daggers, hence why I got 20 of them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to elk these Dragon Daggers and then I'll show you the end profit from this video. As you guys can see, I'm now on um, 1,295,000 uh, and 367 coins. And I started off on 999,000 coins. So I've increased my um, worth about twenty between twenty and thirty percent. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you have any suggestions, write in the comments. If you like it, like it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe.